Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie for those of you that are new. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing just my everyday makeup routine. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so first I already moisturized my face. I just used the CeraVe AM moisturizing lotion. It has SPF 30 in it. I think I've literally been using it since high school, but it was just it's just kind of one of those things that I don't have to buy from like Sephora that's reasonably priced and just also one of those things that's like don't fix what's not broken is that the right thing um so first after i do that i don't use a primer on the weekdays i do use a primer when i'm going out to preserve um my makeup a little bit more so i like to think it does um but during the week after i moisturize i just jump right into my foundation and i do use the luminous silk foundation from giorgio armani so i'll just take probably like half a pump and just dot right here and on my chin and then like a tiny bit on my nose and this is the part that I think is that I do a little bit different so I have the Clarisonic that I got for Christmas a couple years ago and it came with a makeup brush head or I think I bought it separately um, and I really like the way this distributes my makeup but I don't but I like the way that the beauty blender this guy makes my makeup sit and gives it that dewy look but I do think when I use this all over my face, it actually helps me not use as much foundation. So I go in with this first and just smear the makeup all over my face. Cause I don't know if I'm the only one, but I feel like my beauty blender um, swallows up a lot of my foundation. And so I'm trying to save a little bit of money here. So after I do that, I already dampened this. And Got it already, and then I just go in. So then after my foundation is on, I'll just go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm in the shade Fair Neutral. And I like for it to brighten under my eye, but not give you know how some pictures get flashback with concealer? I don't like that. And then this is also really good for covering uh, some blemishes. And then I'll just go with my beauty blender. I also wanted to note that for my under eye concealer, I try and avoid putting in too much foundation on underneath my eyes. And I only, I try to avoid that area so that whenever the concealer comes along, I don't feel like it's really cake underneath my eyes because the Tarte Shape Tape can be a little thick, but it lasts forever and goes on so smooth. I also use my concealer as a base for my eyeshadow. I'm just kind of put over my eyes and then blend it out and go around my nose. Next, I'm gonna set my face. And this is my favorite setting powder. It's from Hourglass. It's the Ambient Luminous Light Powder. I need to get the big one, but this um, low-key, this really small one, I've had for about six months and it hasn't run out. So if you don't wanna splurge on the big one, you can go ahead and just get this little guy. So I'll just take a big fluffy brush and just pat it all over my face. And that's that. So after I finish doing that powder, then whenever I go out on the weekends, I will use a cream contour, but for the weekdays, I just go in with a bronzer and warm up my face. So I use this Too Faced Sun Bunny, or yeah, Sun Bunny um, bronzer, and I really like it. It goes on really smooth. It has two sides, like a darker and a lighter shade, and I use the darker shade to contour my nose. So for this part, I take a little more of a tapered brush. I think I got this one from, I got it, no, I got it from Sephora. I thought I got it from Morphe, sorry. So then I'll just take that, pat off the excess, and then do small circles on the top of my forehead to warm it up. If you haven't noticed, it is slick ponytail day. <laughs> We're at that point in the hair process. Okay. 
now I'll do my cheeks. I like to take the darker side of my cheeks and then suck in my cheekbones. I live for a good nose contour, honestly. I, I genuinely I like my nose. I just like for it to look super like small. Like what, who made that that small noses were cute? I don't know, whatever. But so I can go super all in on a nose contour, but as far as just every day, I just pat on the dark side of my bronzer and just go up and down just to give it a little bit of a shadow. Gets the job done. And after I do that, I will take a little bit of my Laura Mercier translucent powder and put it on my nose. I do this because I just don't like to get shiny throughout the day. I feel like this is the one thing that really locks it in place. So I will bake on my nose on a daily basis, but not really anywhere else. And then I will just take a little bit of that excess powder and do a little bit underneath my eyes and just places that I know I get oily, like my T-zone, just to lock it into place a little bit more. So from there, while I'm letting that sit for a sec, I'm gonna go in and do my eyebrows. So I do use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer, but I use the thicker end. You know, there's one that's just like a fine tip point, like a pencil, this one's a little bit thicker. And um, my shade is, I said already, medium brown. So I will just brush these guys out. Set my eyebrows after I draw them all in is I'll take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel and just go over them once. And I feel like this guy, I've had also, this lasts forever. I've had this for at least a year. Oh my gosh, I kind of have to sneeze. Um, and but this really locks it into place, and I truly feel like my eyebrows do not move after I set them with this. Okay, we're good. Now I'm just gonna go in and brush off that powder on my nose. Don't you hate when like stray hairs from your makeup brushes get on your face? Okay, okay next I'm gonna go on to eyes. So for eyes on the weekday, I keep it super simple. I use this Tarte palette and I literally only use this shade called Edgy and it's this um, brown color right there. So to start out, oops, sorry, wrong brush. I will take this super fluffy guy and tap on it. It does pick up some excess on it. Just tap that off. And then I'll start in the inner corner because I'll want that and the crease to be the most defined. And then I'll just keep blending like crazy and I'll take it pick up a little bit more, go right there. And then I just take it all over my eye. And then I'll start to fan out a little bit at the end to give my eye a little more of a cat eye look. I don't know. <laughs> Cat eye might not be the right word. Extended eye look. Okay. And that's good for that eye. Now that the top of my eye is done, I'm gonna go in with that exact same brown shade and tap on that a little bit. And then just use this shade almost as like my eyeliner per se. I just like this to really define my natural eye shape and it look pretty soft. And I also try and connect the top um, kind of brush out end of my eyeshadow on the top and kind of connect it with where I do it at the bottom. I like the way that looks on my eye shape. Next, 
Okay, so when that's done, that's literally all I do for eyeshadow. The next, I'll go in with, come on, buddy, my um, eyelash curler. So I didn't really used to be an eyelash curler gal, but I do like to go in with it. Now I do feel like it just kind of makes them an extra. And so I'll just go down to the very end of my lash and then just press about 10 times. And I think it helps lift them a little bit more. So as far as mascara goes, I use three things. So first I use this Dior, Dior Show Maximizer in 3D and I really like this. I feel like it just helps it. Um, Anything that helps get it a little bit longer, you know, and then from there I know um, Mascaras claim to do a lot of things, but I think they're always best at one thing either volumizing or maximizing So with this or, or volume volumizing or lengthening So with this one, this is the voluminous lash paradise and I use this one to give it some more volume And then after I do that I'll go in with my L'Oreal telescopic and that helps give it a longer length here we go. Okay, so that is it for my eyes. Then now I'm gonna go in with blush. And this is where I like to give myself a little more of like a dewy look. So I use this NARS Orgasm Cream Blush. And I'll just smile and put it on the apples of my cheeks. And I'll usually just do like five circles. I used to go crazy with this stuff, but I just try not to anymore because it can make you look kind of shiny. And the thing about this though, is you wanna avoid getting it like right here because it'll make you look shiny, especially if you take any pictures. So then I'll just smear it around with my finger. And then I'll just tap it in, just a little bit more. It's not too much, but it gives a nice little glow. From there, I will set my face. I need to go grab my setting spray, so be right back. Okay, so now I set my face, and I set my face before I put on my highlighter because I feel like the dewiness from this mist, this is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, I feel like the dewiness helps give my um, highlight a little more pop. So. And then I'll just take my Becca Champagne Pop Highlight and I'll use a little fan brush. And then just go in. And then I'll also do the top of my nose a little bit. And the end of my nose. And then my stupid bow. And then I do like to go in just one more time and kind of set it with my damp beauty blender. And then one more time with the beauty blender that had the um, powder on it. Just to set, I'm a psycho. <laughs> Just to set the T-zone area one more time. And that's that. Okay, last but not least is my Holy Grail lip combo. So I obviously don't have voluminous lips, but I don't have tiny lips, I don't think. Um, but this definitely gives my look, gives my lip a little more of like a plump look. So this is what I use. This is the, I'm almost out of it, the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip. I don't even know if they still sell this anymore, but it's just like a taupey brown. Um, what is the shade? I believe it's 5C. So then I'll go in and do my lip. 
and I'll overline a little bit on the top but really just follow this is really hard to do my lips and talk at the same time so then I will line the top of my lip but follow the natural line but then just go a little bit over And on the bottom, I will follow the very end of my lip and then just, sorry, I have an itch. <laughs> and then just go out a little bit more. So you can see I start like right there. So you can already see my lips look just a little bit bigger than they did. So then this is, I actually went in one time looking for a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and then but only certain Sephora's carry Charlotte Tilbury. And I was really bummed that the lady was like, well you have to try these lipsticks. And I'm in love with this lipstick. It is the Becca, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's in this tube. And the shade is Sugar. I'll link, every, I'll link all this below as well. So it melted in my car and so it's like the funkiest shape ever. But this combo, I swear. And that's the lip. So that is all. All right, you guys, that is the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications below. And I'll see you in my next video.